expecting more record breaking heat this weekend. Allison Pryor is live from downtown Chattanooga, home to the Ironman. Allison, this heat is definitely going to impact Sunday's triathlon. It definitely is. You know, I feel bad for those athletes. We are expecting potentially record breaking temperatures for on Sunday when the actual race is, but really for activities happening starting today and Saturday as well. Temperatures are going to be hot. Now, I want to start off and show you a look at what our current temperatures are right now. It's a mild start to the day, so if you are heading outside anytime soon, you can already kind of feel that it's a little bit more humid than what we've been seeing for the earlier this week. Most places across the area at this time are in the 60s. Chattanooga, though, is still hanging on to the 70s, so a little bit warmer here, and temperatures are only going to go up from here. Now, as we look at our radar and satellite combination, you can see overall a very quiet start to the day. We're not dealing with any rain. Most places have clear skies, but we do have a few clouds out there. We continue to see that high pressure dominating over our area, which typically brings us those nicer, calmer conditions as far as weather, but you also get the heat and then we start to have that drought to build in. So let's look at the rain chances for the week ahead. They're not going to be great. Each day we'll have a chance for a few little spotty showers. You see all those 10 percents on there. It does look like we're going to be slightly better for Saturday at 20 percent chance. Those are mainly going to be for the afternoon and the evening and we definitely do need that rainfall as well. Here's an updated look at our drought monitor. This was issued yesterday morning. It takes in the rainfall totals and the temperatures that we've experienced for the past week, and we've only seen this worsen. So the entire area is at least listed as abnormally dry. The moderate drought conditions have expanded, and we now have portions of our region under severe drought. So we definitely need that rainfall. Unfortunately, today, it's probably not going to be the best day for it. So here's a look at your Friday day planner. Temperature is still about 71 degrees at 8 a.m. Already though for your lunch hour in the 80s, 84 degrees at noon and then looking for the afternoon. That's right. We're going to be seeing those 90s once again with a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day today. I don't have any kind of rain icons on the day planner, but I wanted to let you know that there is a chance starting up about 4 p.m. through the nighttime hours for a few spotty showers and storms. These are mainly going to be isolated for the higher elevations, really limited amounts of rainfall that we could be experiencing then. And because of those dry conditions, that's not helping the pollen count at all. So for anybody that's suffering from those fall allergies, not great news for you. We're going to continue to see those pollen counts in that moderate to high category over the next several days. So for highs today, we're looking at a lot of places in the 90s, 94 degrees here in Chattanooga and Dalton, 93 in Cleveland and 92 in Athens. And then for overnight lows tonight, still staying in the 70s in Chattanooga at 71, 69 in Dayton, and then Murphy will probably be the coolest spot again. And of course, in addition to Ironman, we do have UTC's homecoming game this weekend. So so here's a look at that UTC forecast kickoff is going to be at four o'clock. It's going to be a hot afternoon. We'll have a chance a little bit better for some potential isolated storms at that point. And then the seven day forecast, you can see all of that heat across the board. We have lots of 90s. We will be tracking for breaking those records. The record high today is 92 degrees, so we will likely be breaking that record, unfortunately, and we'll continue to monitor those records throughout the weekend. So it's a hot end of September. We're going to continue to see it being very hot as we start the month of October as well. 